We now learn how to factorize quadratics using the difference of two squares. So by the end of this tutorial, we should know how to show that x squared minus 9 equals to x minus 3 times x plus 3. Or we'll know how to show that 16x squared minus 25 can be written in factored form as 4x minus 5 times 4x plus 5. The idea behind each of these is to write the quadratics that we see on the left hand side of each of these equations in their factored form. And the formula that we're actually using to do this is known as the difference of two squares. Now, you've probably heard of or seen the difference of two squares formula before, but here it is. The difference of two squares states that a minus b times a plus b equals to a squared minus b squared. And this can be read either from left to right or from right to left. And when factoring quadratics, we'll be interested in reading it from right to left. In other words, we need to think of this as a squared minus b squared equals to a minus b times a plus b. Okay, now that we've seen the formula for the difference of two squares, let's see how it can be used to factorize quadratics. Let's say we're given x squared minus 4, and we're asked to write this in factored form. In other words, we need to factorize this quadratic expression. Well, the key thing to notice here is that 4 can be thought of as 2 squared. And consequently, we can go ahead and state that x squared minus 4 equals to x squared minus 2 squared. We can now think of this as a squared minus b squared. And we can therefore use the difference of two squares formula to write this in factored form. Remember, the difference of two squares states that a squared minus b squared equals to a minus b times a plus b. We can therefore rewrite this quadratic expression as x minus 2 times x plus 2. And we're done. We've just written this quadratic expression in its factored form. Let's look at another example. Say we're given 4x squared minus 9 and we're asked to write this in factored form. Well, the trick in this case is to think as 4x squared as 2x in parentheses squared and to think of 9 as being 3 squared. Keeping that in mind, we can go ahead and state that 4x squared minus 9 is equal to 2x in parentheses squared minus 3 squared. And this can now be thought of as a squared minus b squared. And so once more, we can use the difference of two squares formula. That was a squared minus b squared equals to a minus b times a plus b. We can use this formula to write this expression in its factored form. And that would look like follows. This equals to 2x minus 3 times 2x plus 3. And we're done. We've just written this quadratic in its factored form. And that's it for this tutorial. There we go, everyone. I really hope that helped. And if it did, please hit like on this video and even subscribe to our channel because that really does help us. I'll see you soon.